Though the earth shall move and change And the mountain move to the sea I shall not be afraid The Lord of hosts is with me In verse 11 it says, When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now this is interesting. It says when they heard him. Mm -hmm. Remember, this guy looked like a tank. He comes out onto the battlefield. This man, I mean literally, he's a giant. A giant. And he comes out onto the battlefield screaming and hollering. That didn't scare him. Not until they listened to him. Until they listened to what he was saying. Mm -hmm. It says, when they heard the words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans ten seventeen. That's right. But Jesus said, be careful what you listen to, because fear also comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing the word, and fear comes by hearing the world. And there is an L of a difference. And I knew I couldn't slide that one by you. Okay. The word or the world, you're going to choose who you listen to, all right? Now, that was true even for a man, a man of God, a man after God's own heart, like David, as faithful as David, who's our man in this account. Later on in his life, probably because of the treachery of his own son Absalom, he wrote in Psalm 55, I'm reading three to six. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the pressure of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me, and in anger they bear a grudge against me. My heart is in anguish within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Terrors of death, Fear and trembling and horror because he listened to the voice of the enemy. Now, this is an aside, but it's an important aside, right? What do you think that the Lord was doing while the army of the people of God stood on a hillside with their knees knocking, dismayed and greatly afraid? What do you think God's doing? You know, think about when the the apostles were on the boat with Jesus going across the Sea of Galilee. And a storm arose. And they said, don't you care that we're perishing? Don't you know what's going on? What was God doing here? Well, I'm going to tell you, because I can actually tell you. Okay. The Lord laughs at Goliath because he sees the end of the matter. Here's what it says in Psalm 37, verses 12 to 15. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him. For he sees his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and bent their bow to cast down the afflicted and the needy, to slay those who are upright in conduct. Their sword will enter their own heart, and their bows will be broken. God knows. He knows the end of the matter. And the end of the matter is better than its beginning. Amen. Praise God. What were the verses on that 37? Psalm 37, verses 12 to 15. And by, by the way, I mean, it says that the sword, their sword, pierced their heart. will pierce. Whose sword chopped off Goliath's head? Goliath's. That's right. David didn't have a sword, right? Mm-hmm. He went on, he picked up That's Goliath's right. sword and chopped off his head. The word of God is true. The word of God is always true. Mm-hmm. When you That's choose to live it. It, it is. Yeah. Because God watches over his word to perform it. Yeah. Everything he says happens. A- absolutely. So, I mean, don't, if you find yourself, and listen, the flesh is the flesh. You know, sometimes if you, if you come into a situation that's very dangerous, don't be surprised that your knees are knocking. Mm-hmm. Because they're just stupid flesh. Mm-hmm. Tell them to shut up. Tell them to stop knocking. You have to you have to confess God's word. Yes. You have to believe it in your heart. You have to confess, confess it with your mouth. And you have to do it. 
it doesn't. There's a constant battle between. Forget about the Philistines right, for a minute. Right. There's a constant battle between the flesh and the spirit, and the Israelites will lose in that battle between their flesh and their spirit. So there are times when you're facing an enemy, when you're facing a problem, and that problem may look absolutely gigantic. Put yourself in mind of, of this account and know that God knows what's going on in your life and that God is your deliverer. Tell your knees to stop knocking. Tell your palms to stop sweating and start to praise God. Start to so, give him thanks in the midst of it. Sing a new song. Shout to God with a voice of joy. And then he'll do the battle. And he'll do the battle. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Our God delivers again. Our God delivers again. Our God delivers again. He is all I need. When the giant stands so tall, our God delivers again. When you fear lest you fall, He delivers again. When there's mountains in your way, our God delivers again.